This is Danny with Quad Legs, and today we're going to install the NASA light into a box quad. Um, super easy to do. I built a new quad uh, for this controller, so um, I used yellow parts, and we're going to get started. I left the wires loose, so you know they're not trimmed up. Uh, because I want to check rotation before I do that. Some of the items I'm going to use is, of course, the box quad. Um, and these are all the same motors and um, the frame as we use in the stem kit. I'm using this transmitter. Super, super easy to set up the NASA. Uh, some of the transmitters, you know, you have to do some mixing and it gets a hair bit complicated to, you know, set up uh, the different uh, modes between manual, um, attitude, and GPS. And then, of course, using a fail safe uh, with a switch and, um, you know, the intelligent control also. This makes it super easy, I tell you, it's, it's a dream. Um, and also we're gonna use this uh, transmitter, it's pretty cool, PPM S-Bus. Um, and um, the six channel transmitter, you'll have 10 channels when you use this particular um, receiver. So when you buy this transmitter, it comes with this receiver and another. So, um, you know, you're covered and it's inexpensive, super uh, uh, good transmitter. I, I really kind of fell in love with it. It does a lot. You have to upgrade the firmware. Uh, it's super easy to do, but it uh, works really, really well. And we're going to use this to power our NASA controller. Now I unpackaged some of this already, but I just wanted to show you know everything you get. This is a uh, stand and we'll get with that in a minute to hold your GPS. This is the controller itself. Some wiring that comes with it. GPS here. And what we're going to do on this one, with these items here, you can, you know, mount it up higher if you've watched our uh, other videos. And we're going to go ahead and try this one out, mounting it straight to the top and see how it works. We'll see on this. This is the LED indicator. This is the power module. This is going to furnish power. We're going to tied in here. This is going to be our power going to it and this is going to power up the controller and GPS and everything. And of course you get a USB. Okay. Wanted to show you everything that comes with super the package. Uh, this is the light. Um, well I think right now and you can get it in quite a few different, you can get it at a, uh, quite a few different places. But I think it's running, um, you know, and it's subject to change. But right now, as of this video, I think it goes for like, what, $74, $79, maybe $79. Very, very good deal for, you know, entry-level GPS. If you're learning how to fly, it's excellent for that. Uh, and we're actually using it on a video that we just had up where we installed the uh, GPS and a gimbal. So you can use it for film and it's really good. Anyway, we're going to fly it after a while. But first of all, we're going to go ahead and um, get the GPS, uh, all the hardware mounted. And then we'll go to the I6S, the turn G transmitter, and we'll do the uh, setup. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to open up our box quad here. And I already listed 
on my four and one here. You know, all the where all the wires go to for the different motors. We get into that after a while. And I had already installed my um, you know plug XT60. Um, there's videos on this. Uh, it's on our product page. If you go there, we have all the videos there. Um, and uh, it'll show you know bring you up to this point. So here's our controller. We're going to go ahead and mount it right here. Now I'm going to leave some room here because the uh, the one of the other videos we're going to do on this particular one is we're going to uh, install the gimbal uh, and it goes right here in this location and it protrudes out this way. So we're going to put it here, but enough room to, <clears throat> but enough room, excuse me, but enough room, you know, where we're going to be able to um, fit it in. So we're going to go ahead and put this in place. First of all, we're going to, these are our motors. And if you can see that, that's M1, 2, 3, and 4, and that's our motor wires where they're going to go. And here, the negative, positive, and your signal, signals down here, and then your power, and then your ground on top. We're going to go ahead and hook up these motors. And here we determine... Um, Motor number one is going to be one, two, three, and four. A little bit different than we've been doing. So motor number one, and I'm just going to check it, is going to M1, uh, M1, um, which is your uh, ESC, is going to be red. And that's what we did right here. We're going to put the power and motor number one is going to be red so this is going to go on like this okay let me interrupt here this is motor number one that we were showing to connect to the controller the only thing we're going to do different is remove the power wire we determined that red was the uh, signal for motor number one the, and we were connecting it to the power in the ground terminal we're going to remove the power let's go ahead and lift up on the tab and we're going to remove the pin and you can either cut this and you know put um, shrink wrap on it or you can put leave this and just put shrink wrap over in case you want to use it again uh, to power up something or um, you can just put tape on this but make sure that you know it's isolated from everything it doesn't touch anything because it will burn out your ESC okay so motor number one is going to look like this now signal ground no power Motor number two, just to make sure, is going to ESC4. ESC4 is brown. And we have that here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and hook this one up. And three is white, just to make sure. Three is going to ESC3. ESC3 is white and we're correct. So we're going to go ahead and put that on. Motor number four. Now I always like to double check, not just assume. <laughs> Motor number four is going to two. ESC2, ESC2 two, two is orange. And here we are. Okay. One, two, three, four and signals at the bottom and ground is on top okay this is going to be mounted this is forward 
So and you can see the little arrow right there. And it's pointing that way. So the motor's going to be pointed toward the front. We barely have enough room, but it works just right. And we're going to put it right up against the wood. Just like that. Okay. And like I said, this works perfect. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get this on there. We have a lot of wind today. And we're right outside Dallas. Actually, we're in Denton, Texas. We had a lot of hail here a while back. And so you'll hear some banging in there doing some new roof being put on ours is already done but i think there's still a couple more out there they're putting on okay well, we're gonna go ahead and get this put on and it's windy and cloudy today so hopefully the lighting's okay Okay, and you notice why they don't put it, you know, with this seam right here. Make it look, put it on straight. There we go. And I'm pressing it down there, make sure it holds it. Okay, and you want it, you know, straight in line this way. This way, and facing toward the front, the arrow. Okay, and it's in this thing. I'll make sure this settles down on there good. Okay. Like I said, we're going to trim up all the wiring a little bit later. This is super easy to install if you're noticing. The power, the ground again, if you look here, the ground is on top. Power's in the middle, signal at the bottom. X3 is where we're going to put the power. And the ground is on top. Okay. Signal at the bottom. This is here. We're going to put a power lead on here in a minute. And we're actually going to put a plug. So that's a plug in. We'll do that. The GPS, I'll show you where it goes and we're going to tidy it up in a minute. This is super simple. It goes in one way and it's going to go here on the top. And like I said, when you have this in your hand, you'll know what you'll see. Power module and is going to go in LED on the top and once again once you have this in your hands you'll see okay now I'm gonna wind up mounting this right here this is where the USB is gonna um, you know we're gonna uh, plug into the computer to do the programming and this is gonna be our LED that's gonna be uh, it's gonna flash in different colors and uh, different uh, intensities or um, amounts rather or a number of flashes and you need to be able to see that and we're going to mount this right here okay and then we're going to put what I call the puck instead of you have the hardware to mount it up higher but instead of mounting up here like we did on our last video that if you've watched it we're going to mount this one on the box and see how it comes out and if you notice there's an arrow here it needs to face toward the front so it's going to wind up going here so i'm going to get this in a minute you know put some holes in here and get it all mounted and show you how it came out and then also we're going to put a connector here set this up in here and i'll show you how that came out the receiver 
<laughs> it's super easy to do. We're going to uh, get this open first. Okay. You get plenty of wire to hook it up. If you were using PWM, um, you know, it's, um, you have all the wiring to do it. The um, what we're going to use here is PWM or PPM, and we're going to use the ground. The next one up is the um, power, and you can use S bus or PPM. We're going to use PPM, and uh, so I have instead of using a single connector, or you know. If we have a three connector, you could use it. If you use an S bus, that's what you need here. But I'm gonna have I have a four plug here, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that in just a minute. Let's do this. I'm gonna change one of these out, and if you know, you just uh, you know put the knife underneath that tab, and they'll pull out. Okay. And then what I want to do, you know, is have ground, my positive, our power, and on the end, PPM. So I have a, and you might want to get a few of these. I mean, you can get, you know, these, you know, everybody's got them, I guess, and, you know, the three. But I have four uh, connectors, and I have singles and twos and some fives and sixes. So, you know, they're really inexpensive. You might want to pick some of these up just to have around, and uh, it comes in handy. So, um, this is the ground that's going to be on the end. Let me get it in there. Oh, <laughs> wrong side. Okay, the ground. And there's only one way this goes in, so you can see. Just watch when you take them out and put them in the same way. When they go in, you'll know, you'll hear it, it clicks. If it doesn't, it's not right. You probably heard that. So there's a ground, and there's the positive, our power. And on the very end is going to be PPM. And that's the signal. So you can see what we're doing. We're leaving one of them out. Okay. So that's going to go on just like this. Makes for a re real, re a real neat install. So now you have ground, power, skip one, on the very end, PPM. Okay. And then this is going to go on X2. Okay. That's X2. We're going to put the old transmitter right in here somewhere and we'll route the wiring. I think I'm going to wind up putting it you know, somewhere in here like that. That'll make for a nice install. And this gives us some room for the battery that's going to go in here. We're going to, we're going to keep this you know, clean in this area for the battery. This wiring's a little tight. But, you know, I could make this a little bit longer, and I may do that. Or I'll tell you what, we could actually just install it here. And that would probably be the better place for it. Just like that. And we'll still have plenty of room for our battery. Okay? We'll do it like this. So I'll do that. And uh, I'll get these routed and get these wires here hooked back up. And that's it for the install. You can see it's super easy, super, super easy. So, let's get back to it, and uh, once I have everything done, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, we're done. So, this is the LED here, and this is USB uh, connection. This is the uh, GPS puck, as I call it, facing forward. This is the forward 
I mean, this is the front of the quad, and this is the back. And there's your little arrow pointing forward. You try to get it, you know, lined up as best you can. We'll open it up. And this is our receiver. And I went ahead and routed the two antennas. Now, whenever we put the gimbal here, we'll make room for that. And this may move, but that'll be when we do that or get to that. This is our power supply. That came with the uh, nozzle. And I put this connection on, and we're using this adapter. The reason I'm doing this, this could be soldered in uh, direct into the ESC. Um, but I'm doing it this way because, you know, this is definitely going to wind up on something else. You know, this is what I do. I try different things, so I'm not telling where it's going to wind up at. So it creates a little bit more wiring in here than normal. Um, but this way I can move it. Of course, this is a controller, the Nasa controller. Everything's plugged in. This is your GPS here. This is your LED. Underneath it, we have the power supply goes into X3. Your PPM from your receiver is going into X2, and that's underneath here. Your motor wires, one, two, three, and four from your ESC at the bottom. Just make sure and double check them, you know, and make sure the correct ESC is plugged into the correct motor. Again, on this one here, we're so used to doing these with different controllers. Uh, this is motor number one, motor number two, motor number three, and motor number four. So it goes in counterclockwise this way. The prop direction, clockwise, counter, clock, counter. Same as, you know, what we've done on all the rest. We'll get to that when we, you know, go to uh, fly it. Um, like I said, the wiring is not completely tidy simply because I move them. The battery is going to, instead of going in here in this area right here, it's actually going to sit on edge right here. And so we'll have Velcro put on this piece of wood. The battery edgeways will fit in here. Plenty room to fit there. Works good. So the battery is going to wind up here, wind up here. And, uh, you know, when we get to that point, I'll show you how it goes in and everything works pretty good with it. So, there you are. It's installed. It's just that easy. Um, so what we're going to do next, in the next video, we're going to uh, go ahead and get our Turnigy i6S. And I'm going to show you how to set it up. Man, you're going to love this. It's super, super easy to do. Makes for a great install. Okay. We'll see you then. This is Danny with Quad Likes. Take care.